Welcome to Tumamina Teaching. This is your second Grade 8 Geography lesson for Term 2. In today's lesson, we will be looking at pressure, pressure systems, and how different seasons are represented on a synoptic chart. In the previous video, I mentioned most of the elements that are considered when recording the weather. That being temperature, precipitation, humidity, wind speed and direction, clouds, and sunshine. Today, we will be focusing on pressure. Before we get into it, let's look at what a synoptic chart is. When weather is recorded, it is recorded using satellites, images from space, as well as various weather instruments. This is then recorded on a synoptic chart, which has a lot of information and data about specific places, as well as the condition of the atmosphere. With the tools provided in the previous lesson, as well as those learned in today's lesson, you will hopefully be able to interpret what is happening on a synoptic chart. So back to pressure. What exactly is pressure? Pressure is the force of air exerted on the Earth. Pressure is measured using a barometer or a barograph with the units of millibars or hectopascals. On a synoptic chart, there are many lines over the chart. These are lines measuring areas or places of equal air pressure, and they are called isobars. These are closed lines all over the map. Each isobar has a unit measurement on it, and depending on if it is a high or a low pressure cell, the numbers will increase or decrease towards the center. When isobars are close together, this means that a steep pressure gradient is being experienced. This also means that very, very strong winds will be experienced at this point. Similarly, when isobars are more evenly spaced apart from one another, a light breeze or a gentle wind will be experienced here. We say that this is a gentle pressure gradient. So simply by looking at the spread of the isobars, we are able to tell a lot about what is happening in the atmosphere. South Africa has three main pressure systems. Along the west coast of South Africa, the South Atlantic high pressure is experienced. Along the east coast of South Africa, the South Indian high pressure is experienced. During summer, there is a low pressure over the interior of South Africa in place of the Kalahari high pressure. So what exactly is meant by high and low pressures? Low and high pressure cells differ because of the way that air moves in and through them. These bring different and specific weather conditions to the areas that are experiencing these pressures. In a low pressure cell, also known as a cyclone and not the fierce wind and rain type, air is rising, it is moving clockwise around the cell, and it is also warming as it rises. The air is moist and there is a very high chance of rain. Just think. Warm air rises. In a high pressure cell or an anticyclone, air is descending, it is also moving anticlockwise around the cell, and it is also cooling as it falls. This makes weather conditions a lot more stable. The air is dry, and there is a very small chance, if any, that any rain will occur. There are also generally very clear skies. Throughout the year, we experience four different seasons, and the main pressure cells mentioned move accordingly. While we know generally that in winter an area will be cold, we cannot say that it will necessarily be rainy. We know Cape Town gets a lot of rainfall in winter, but the same cannot be said for all places. That being said, in winter, the high pressure cells move further north. This allows the cold front to move upwards and come through and scratch our shores, usually bringing rainfall, but specifically bringing rainfall to Cape Town or the Southwest Cape. One can also notice the Kalahari high pressure over the interior of South Africa because it's winter. In summer, the high pressure cells are further south. Here, they are in the blocking position, which means that the cold fronts are cut off from reaching land. This is why Cape Town doesn't receive a lot of rainfall during the summer months. And when it does rain, we find it highly unusual. Over the interior of South Africa, instead of the Kalahari high pressure, we now have an unnamed low pressure. 
This is because of the temperatures and the movement of air. And the conditions experienced here will be exactly like those mentioned earlier. When looking at a synoptic chart, another way to tell if winter or summer conditions are being experienced would be to observe the date. High temperatures are also an indicator of summer, just as low temperatures are an indicator of winter. Another point to mention is the observance of a tropical cyclone. There is the possibility that one could appear on a summer map, but remember that it doesn't have to. It just might be there. Tropical cyclones only form from about February till May in the Southern Hemisphere. And remember that these are close to our summer months. Join us next time as we look at how weather is recorded as well as how the earth is heated. Yeah.